Did you guys get all that? Neither did I. Let's start the review. Attack of the Helping Ham was a horror short made in 1979. Now, I'm not here to judge this movie because it was made in the 70s. I'm here to judge this movie because it's a horror comedy short based off the freaking helping hand from Hamburger Helper. This guy. So I'm gonna try my best to analyze this short film as much as I can and to review it, so... But, let's just get this over with. So right off the bat, we see this movie is made by the Metropolitan Film Group. Well, let's see all they did. I got myself into this mess. So this is our main character. Who is she? I don't know. What's she doing? I don't know. So, yeah, the movie doesn't really tell us a lot about her. What the fuck? Oh. I'm the hamburger helper, helping here to help you out with your meal. <laughs> You could tell by my mouth is like separated into two separate parts, and you could probably not even hear me because the music is still playing over me. I'm sorry, can we replay that? Was that a boing sound effect? Yup. So this is when the attack part starts coming in because he actually starts attacking the woman, which is what we've been waiting for for like forever. Anyone else notice that she's drowning her own hand right now? So the crazy lady actually thinks she killed her own hand, which, surprise surprise, this happens. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Turn the freaking music down, we can barely hear you! Oh hey, Thane from Adam's family finally got, like, in a new movie. Jesus, lady, is your side job a, a professional wrestler? Oh, Jesus, Murphy, lady, you scared the Jesus out of me! I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I thought you were that crazed helping hand that's been attacking me. Aw, oh, hell no, lady, I'm just your local milkman coming through the front door to deliver this carton of Borden's low fat Dutch chocolate homogenized milk. I'm sorry, what? So, this is the milkman. Hands up if you guys think he's just here to die. By the way, if you're looking for that helping hand, it's hiding right over there behind the counter. <laughs> well, good day. Oh my god! I said you get the count on me, stupid! This acting. Oscar worthy. Since the lady doesn't care that the milkman is dead, she walks back into the kitchen to find the hand. That milkman has a big mouth, you know. I agree, it's huge. He didn't have to tell me where I was hiding. I'll tell him a thing of. How the heck are you suffocating inside of a bucket? Where are those trash bags? They're somewhere around here. Over here! We now have the second movie to flip off the audience. Number one was Ape. Wait, no, that makes that makes this number one. That makes Ape number two, not the... 
Oh my god, I found a paradox. <laughs> So she puts the hand into the blender, which turns the hand into a, well, a beverage. After killing the hand, she walks over to her counter after getting something out of the fridge, and then this happens. several complaints you can't just end your film like this it doesn't even have a sequel but overall attack of the helping hand is badly acted which just equals a more comedy genius that makes me laugh like the effects are bad everything's just bad but it's just so bad that it's good i give it a five out of ten solid five now if you'll excuse me i gotta go buy some more spidget venters <laughs>